I'm back on another cycle of fault and they're just documenting the check back relays channel 2 and 3 are off and I'm just having the transmitter going and when I see the LED is on that means the relay is off click that one works and hopefully the other one works as well um, I just need to document this because it was three years ago last time we had a fault and the code is getting through here that's good a good sign reset the device and then I'll check the check back relay for channel 3 this is channel 2 okay Next go, this red LED should switch off, hopefully. There's one more string. These faults occur too far away, so you can't remember 100% what happens normally. So we'll see what happens. Click, that works, I'm happy with that, that's good. Check back relay worked. The device is controlled through a PLC. The power supply had blown by a power surge we had uh, in the storm. Check the information on the transmitter. That's good, and it just gave a new code onto the device here. Uh, the red face had blown, but um, oh, one of the fuses in the transformator, so all the faces are present. Important to check. And the status of the switches is important. I documented here for myself to remember. Uh, the address is on uh, A. Uh, that's it on position one then the next one sits on uh, maximum the interval timer and two transmissions this device uh, transmits into a uh, 500 kVA transformator low impedance this is an ECC transformer 700 ampere per phase nearly so yeah so there we go okay I've turned all the check back relays off so these are normally hot water controlling relays but they, these check the status of the equipment so when our transmission starts the LED should go out and this relay should switch on there's no spare contact, hence the inverse reading on the device. That's the PLC that controls it. Hope this video makes sense, because uh, I need to remember myself as well. And I'm waiting for the transmission to start. That's the blown power supply, PLC from Mitsubishi. They're about 600 bucks, so I need to try to source another one for that. And as again, it's all electronic crap. These components are getting harder and harder to get as the thing is probably about 10 years old. Okay, transmission is about started, so we'll see what happens. 2, 3, and 11. Channel 1 relay is a bit sticky, it should have operated. Channel 1 relay failed to operate. Channel 2 works. I'm documenting the code. That's the firing code for the SCRs. Channel 2. There you go. That was Channel 3 code. It does actually four transmissions. Good to remember myself again. Yeah, we check this. 
channel 3 code channel 3 code these two relays on the red face so I think the red face is dead I need to check that out